This is when it really gets tense. Only four teams remain in the biggest club competition in the world, and we're not far away from kickoff in the first leg. It's Arsenal. They face Porto, and the action comes your way next on EA TV Live. Good evening, tonight the spotlight falls on North London. We find ourselves at the home of Arsenal. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And we've got Champions League semi-final first leg action coming right up for you. It's Arsenal facing Porto. Well, Derek, it could be cagey and it could be tight, but we've got some of the best players on view here, and they'll want to show just how good they really are. I can't wait for this tie to start. And the corner's been given. Delivering it. And a struggle to get it away properly. Wendell. He could pick out a teammate. Well, he passed the power test. Shame about the accuracy. Well, it's always a delight to watch Bukayo Saka in action. We have that privilege today. Stuart, what do you expect to see from him? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. It was always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. And playing it through, just needs to steady himself. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! Well, just watch this again. Jorginho's pass is inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one foot in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. A foul, but advantage played. Pepe, beautifully weighted ball. There's still danger here. And the flag was up in good time, it's offside. Well, he should have realised that was going to be offside. That's a poor decision to play that pass. William Saliba and Havertz Ben White and they keep the ball moving could be and it was straight at the keeper but technically good goalkeeping William Saliba Ben White. Arsenal unable to retain possession. They're getting the ball forward. Pepe. High quality defending. Gabriel. 
Alexander Zinchenko. Martinelli. And a timely intervention. Galeno. Could be dangerous. Splendid defending. Gonzalez. Oh, might be. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Corner kick played in. And he clears the danger. Now breaking at pace is always a possibility. Well, they need to get bodies back. Not quite the counter-attack that they had in mind. Well, play stopped. It is a free kick. And he gets away with a warning here. In my view, that's good refereeing. Strong, but not officious. to cover splendid save and Arsenal can get ready for the set piece situation they hold the lead and played short Martinelli great defending and under pressure that was a fine play Joao Mario. Effective work from Arsenal to regain possession. And Varela with it. It did look on for them, but not to be. Good through ball. Havertz! Wasted chance. Easy for the goalkeeper. And now we find out it was offside anyway. showing good vision oh good looking run and the keeper there to deal with it Now sending it in, still not clear, and the attack fizzling out. Arsenal could be onto something, and Kai Havertz. Arsenal pushing to add to the lead. They've won the corner. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty.
And a short corner, let's see. Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Well, that's going to be all for the first half here at the home of Arsenal. And a more than satisfactory first half showing from Martin Odegaard. Sum up his performance for us. Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. And the second half has begun here in North London. Opportunity it is. Perfect challenge. Kai Havertz. Could play it in. And quick thinking defensively. Well, a really good run. Oh, that's a fine looking pass. Oh, he's blocked it. And time for the change now. He's driven in the corner. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. Well, another corner following on from the last one. Well, they're getting close, but he knows they need to be more clinical. Corner kick played in, clearing his away. Nicely timed tackle. Eustachio. That's a, a glorious chance. Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. And over it comes, and that's very confident goalkeeping in not easy circumstances. Well, we're into the final half hour. Arsenal move it forward with purpose and control. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Genuine chance. Oh, last ditch defending at its very finest. Varela. high and more than a bit hopeful and it is substitution time at this juncture not just from one side but from both
Good high press. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. William Saliba. Oh, good looking run. Gabriel Jesus. And not cleared away properly. And denied by the post. And there it is. But hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Twenty minutes to go. White. Saka. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. The cross is on. Just the clearance that was called for. They'll have no intention of losing out. Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. He must finish! Stopped a certain goal. And they will make the change now. Who can he pick out? And the penalty has been given here. <laughs> to extend the lead here. A goal! Calmly taken spot kick! Here it is again, and he makes it look so easy. He sends the keeper one way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent finish. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Well, here it is, 1v1 against the keeper, and the outcome was never really in doubt. He never looked like missing that. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Well, advantage with them. Referee says play on. Oh, big chance. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish.
Well, it's a tale of four goals in this match now. 3-1 it is. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. Gabriel. It's with Erdogan. Gabriel Martinelli. And you don't want to lose possession there. Must score! Oh, that's a fine save. Going short. He's in control of the situation. And thumped away. Now they have possession in a good area of the pitch. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. And room now out on the flank. Can he play it in? Well, just the tackle that was needed. And so the final whistle, this first leg is over and it's a story of Arsenal with the advantage going into the return match. Yeah, they controlled so much of the game. They got good service into the front players, they used the wide area as well and their midfield players made some dynamic forward runs. They're certainly giving themselves a great chance of reaching the final now. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason, played with real authority in attack, Stuart. Well, he certainly had an impact on the result, not least from 12 yards. He always looked confident, though. He just didn't expect him to miss. 